My name is Raul Adamchak. I'm the Market Garden Coordinator here at the UC Davis Student Farm. So this is the beginning of our fall season when we're planting cool season crops. And we have solarized a bed uh, for our direct seeded fall season crop. And then at the beginning of September, we remove the solarization plastic and we direct seed carrots and beets and arugula and spinach and cilantro and turnips and rutabagas and all these direct seeded crops. And then we irrigate them using our sprinkler irrigation system. The water for the irrigation system is coming from the university's utility water system that comes from deep wells. And the water comes to our farm pressurized at about 50 pounds per square inch, which is enough pressure to run our sprinkler system. We are using 30 foot long, three inch aluminum pipes that connect together uh, either through a hook and latch or through a system called drop lock. And it allows us to set up pipes across a field and irrigate all of our direct seeded crops. And the um, direct, uh, this time of year, the direct seeded crops need to be kept moist. The surface of the soil needs to be kept moist. So we almost irrigate them every day, depending on the temperature, because we want them to all germinate evenly and uh, then grow vigorously as possible this time of year. And, and an overhead sprinkler system is perfect for this type of direct seeded germination. The way the, the sprinkler line set up is that there is a line set up every 30 feet across the field. So we have five lines set up and there are eight sprinklers in that line. And each of those sprinklers puts out a roughly four gallons a minute. So if we want to run, um, if we want to run, let me do the math. If we want to run five times eight, 40 sprinklers, we need at least 160 gallons per minute in order to make that system work. In situations where you have enough sprinkler pipe, you can set this system up once and then you can just leave it. And so there's only one period of labor and then it's set up and you can run them over and over again. In situations where you don't have enough sprinkler pipe, you may have to move the sprinkler lines 30 feet each time in order to get even coverage over the field. We happen to have two kinds of sprinkler heads, these older impact type sprinklers, rainbird type sprinklers, we also have Nelson plastic sprinkler heads. The difference between them is that the um, Rainbird sprinklers are made of uh, uh, brass, and if you buy them now, they're about $25 each, and the Nelson sprinklers are $7 each. So as we replace them over time, we're making the short-term economic choice of uh, putting less expensive sprinklers on. The impact sprinklers can also be purchased with a system that allows you to adjust the spray pattern, but that's even more expensive. Uh, and over time, isn't that robust? So we've gone with the uh, Nelson sprinklers on the ends of all of our rows uh, in order to keep the water in the field and outside of the rows. There is a significant difference between the lifespan of the plastic sprinklers versus the cast metal sprinklers. We have cast metal sprinklers that must be 50 years old and still function and can be fixed. And the plastic sprinklers seem like they might last uh, five to 10 years before they malfunction and uh, there's no way of fixing them. So we've installed a six inch underground line all around the farm. And every uh, certain distance, we have a riser come up that has a, a four inch valve on it. On top of the four inch valve is a valve opener. And when I um, open up the valve, the water comes out. And it starts to fill up our three inch diameter sprinkler lines. When you're filling up these lines, it's important not to turn these systems on full blast and just let them fill up because you'll get water hammer, which is what happens when the water rushes down to the end of the pipe and it uh, hits the end plug and it could send a shockwave back and and break the riser off right at the ground. So each sprinkler pipe has a rubber gasket in it. And the rubber gasket is, um, is U-shaped. It has an outside edge and an inside edge. 
And as the water pushes through the pipe, it pushes the outside edge against the outside pipe and the inside edge against the inside pipe. And uh, the pipe seal, there's not, a, there's not a leak between each pipe. And that happens at about 40 pounds per square inch. It takes that much pressure for the pipes to, for the gaskets to seal inside the pipes. And that's why when you're turning the water on in the pipes for the first time, it might look like the pipes are leaking at each joint, but as soon as they pressurize, the gasket seals and they no longer leak. So each of these sprinklers, each nozzle puts out about four gallons a minute. And altogether, that adds up to about a quarter of an inch per hour over the whole field. So if you wanted to put out an inch of water, you would have to run the sprinklers for four hours. And if you know what your evapotranspiration rate is, then you can tailor the amount of water that you're putting on your crop to the evapotranspiration rate and you'll waste less water.